Welcome back to the First Coast Laugh Lounge. Now our next guest is toured with the Blue Collar Comedy Tour, is a regular on the Bob and Tom Show, and sells out all across the country. This weekend you can see him here in Jacksonville at the Comedy Zone. Help me welcome the hilarious Reno Coyer to the show. What's going Thank on, man? Thank you, sir. Everything is wonderful. I'm excited to see you. I was saying before we're on, uh, you're in a really good mood for it to be 11.45 in the morning for a comedian. Yeah, it's because uh, I don't really drink anymore. <laughs> <laughs> was there a story to, to cutting me. it off? My liver almost <laughs> fell out. <laughs> my doctor's one of my buddies, and he was like, dude, you know. It's time to tap out. Yeah. Plus, I kept breaking out in handcuffs. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, <laughs> just take a little break for a minute. So, it makes it where it doesn't suck to get up in the morning. Like, I used to right. just, like, I wouldn't even be here. I would have missed this. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like, I would, would be in the said, hotel. We're going to use the rain as an excuse. Yeah. yeah. My yeah. phone's ringing, and I'm just laying there, like, uh huh, yeah. You, uh, I breezed right over it, but you went out on tour with Blue Collar Comedy Guys. That probably led to maybe some of your funner, crazier times and maybe why you quit drinking? Yeah, well, the, the tour bus definitely didn't help. I was out with Larry the Cable Guy for 10 years, 11 years, and uh, um, but that wasn't the reason. I mean, it was <laughs> divorce and every other thing a comedian. I, like, I'm at the age where I hang out with my comedy buddies, and we're all like, how's your alimony? You know, right. it's just so Sad and stupid. When you, when you're out with powerhouses like uh, Larry the Cable Guy, I don't. I'm not Jeff familiar with those. Yeah, guys. You're right. yeah. <laughs> but when you're out with those guys, it's got to be. I mean, it's got to be an insane trip. Yeah, it was fun. We did uh, a couple movies and uh, special them idiots, and uh, I let those guys. That was the name of it. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't know. Please, idiot. Jeff, so Jeff named it, and I'm like, okay. Yeah, I have no set, you know. It's right. like It's not like we all get together and split the money up easily. <laughs> sure. You know what I mean? It's like, we're calling it them idiots. Okay, Mr. Foxworthy. You know what I mean? Actually, he's super cool. He wasn't like that at all. But uh, it was fun, man. Those guys are so down to earth. Sure. That it's not. I've been around famous people, and they're famous, but they're not. I mean, Cable Guy still lives in Nebraska. He's got corn in his yard. You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't. I'm like, you know, you have money. He's right. like a nine year old with money, though. Oh, that's funny. like we'd be on the tour bus and we'd stop at Walmart and get BB guns and army men and set them up on the bus. Right. Or, you know what I mean? Like three o'clock in the morning. It was like being a child. Right. That's great. You know? That's great. All right. You mentioned that you hadn't been in Jacksonville in for like six years. Yeah. We, Florida gets a funny rap sometimes. You know, there's always like the Florida man who's uh, causing crazy news. What's, do you have any funny stories about Florida or her thoughts? About Florida? <laughs> yeah. I, I always, live in Tennessee, always... man. So... Oh, so you're not that yeah, far away. I mean, I don't... <laughs> we have, that's like normal. You know, <laughs> right? what I mean? some guy, hey, he caught himself on fire in a bunny suit. And it's like, yeah, that's Chad. Yeah. You know, he's, <laughs> he does that. <laughs> he smells like paint thinner and we don't know what's wrong with him, you know. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, I don't any funny Florida stories. I just figured because well, I was gets down here a lot because Cable Guy used to live in Sanford, mm -hmm. Florida, sure. outside of Orlando, and that's a different type of place. Right. I mean, but Florida is almost this part of Florida is real close to being similar to you guys have a beach, yeah, which is really cool. But right. Nashville and where I live and Jacksonville are very close. To each other and we both have good restaurants and we have football and hockey and we don't know what to do with either sure, one of them. Sure, yeah. <laughs> the football we get the hockey you know i'm like who's the you know but we cheer right. them on i We're, love it yeah love i it. love it too all right so i was looking at your twitter and uh you can follow at uh rena i don't Reno. do don't follow me on oh, well, i, I, I laughed that. because on july 4th you tweeted that joey chestnut was the greatest athlete joey of chestnut all time. is the greatest athlete of all. <laughs> yes if you want to follow me for that stuff i um he is yeah, I, that is the greatest thing I've ever seen on television. Look at him. Dude, okay, let me tell you something. Have you ever never watched this? I am. I religiously watch this. Oh, I love right? it. The Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. The, the announcer, when he starts comparing him to Michael Jordan and Tiger Woods, <laughs> right. and he's like, you know, the training and the, you know, he puts up his stats. He ate 74 hot dogs, and Michael Jordan only has like seven championships. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's like, <laughs> I cannot wrap my head around it. Yeah. And I, I, <laughs> I watch it. And I get so excited, and I made my kids watch it with me. And my, oh, that's my son is like, this is the greatest thing that's ever happened. Because you, it, for people who don't play sports, and I always did. I played baseball in college. I mean, growing up, I, I loved sports. But now I just golf. I do fat yeah. guy sports. But that is the greatest 
athletic feat of all time. And you watch it. None of the fat guys ever win. The fat guys suck. They lose every time. But the skinny guys who train and eat like yep. rice and then let it expand in their stomachs to stretch it out. And then they show up and they're the greatest athletes of all time. You know they're, what I'm saying? Yeah, they're rapping you. All right, Don't look go away see, from me. You know what I'm Reno. saying. <laughs> go see Reno this weekend at the Comedy Zone. Buy your tickets now. Bring hot dogs.